In this video we're going to be looking at fading audio in and fading audio out. So what it does is where you start fading it out it starts to get quieter and quieter until it goes to silence and fading it in has the opposite effect so it goes from silent and builds up builds up and louder and louder. So in the last video we looked at overlaying audio so I've now overlaid my radio jingle over my sound so if I play it from here if I click up here on the time hello everyone and welcome to basic beats now although that didn't sound too bad the transition from my speech or from the radio jingle to my speech I'm going to actually fade this out so that it gets a bit quieter so that my voice is the loudest part of the audio. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the selection tool and I'm going to highlight it from about here because it's quite loud. It doesn't really matter where you start from. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fade. Now this, just to show you here, this flat line means that it's silent. That's all that it means. So I don't really have to worry about that, about fading that out. So I'm going to select this bit here and I'm going to go to effect and I'm going to go to fade out. And you can see here that the sound wave goes from long to short, which means that it's going to get louder to quieter. So now if I click from here and play, Hello everyone and welcome to Basic And so you can see there, my speech comes in nicely over the top of the radio jingle. So that's how we fade sounds out. I, we could also fade in my voice here if I wanted to. So if I use the selection tool again and highlight this bit and I go to effect, this time I can just fade in. And if I play it from, let's just deselect that. Let's go to here. And if I press play, hello everyone, and welcome to Basic Beats Radio. My name is Mr. Creswell, and I'm. And that is a very simple way of fading audio in and fading audio out. So you should give that a try over the top of your radio jingle.